Hello, fire signs, sun, moon, and rising. This is Dee, and I hope you're doing well. Welcome, and a welcome back to my channel. To my current and new subscribers, thank you for your support, as it is greatly appreciated. And if you're browsing YouTube and you've come across my channel, it's not by coincidence. This is a divine connection, so go ahead and press the subscribe button and join us here, because I would love to have you. Also, I invite you to join me on Instagram, and you are following D too. So, fire signs, this is a general reading for you that comes to you from the heart and soul oracle card deck now the message may or may not resonate with you if it does great if it doesn't just let it pass in other words take what resonates with you and leave the rest god most high angel spirit guides beings of love and light the holy spirit what is the divine guidance and encouragement for the fire signs as for their well-being this is for aries leo sagittarius and moon and rising okay So this is the front of your card, and I feel like there's been some turbulence at this time, but I feel like you're being encouraged to be strong, persevere, let your light shine in spite of. I feel like there is... Um, a message of love here for you. Um, Self-love. Embrace the love of others. And. Yeah. Let your light shine. And. Also. Even though there is darkness. The light does shine through. And so I feel like you're being encouraged to. No matter what's happening. Even if there is darkness around you, I feel like you're being encouraged to let your light shine. Shine bright in spite of. I keep getting in spite of to shine bright. And this may be a very emotional time for you right now. It just may be very emotional. But it's still a time to allow yourself to be loved by others and most importantly love yourself regardless of what's happening all right so fire signs help is on its way the raging sea will soon abate and a great light will heal your heart this is a time of deep profound and positive transformation but courage, strength, and patience are required. You are supported by a sea of love. Wow. So you have a lot of support around you, fire sign, signs at this time. Even though you may be feeling like things are quite challenging right now for you in your current situation or circumstance, but I feel like it's important that you embrace the support that you have and also embrace the love that others extend to you. Uh, be patient with the process. Uh, take courage. I feel like you, you're being encouraged to stand in your truth. Be strong and have patience again through the process and know that all is well. Everything is working out for you. Every storm must pass. It doesn't last forever. It doesn't rage forever. But while you're in the storm, quote unquote, find your place of peace. Find your place to gain your footing so that you can be strong and you can be courageous. And know that the lessons learned during this process, you'll be able to apply them in the future. And also, you'll be able to share the wisdom and knowledge that you obtained during this process with others, which will be most helpful to you. So remember that you're not alone. You're being supported. 
and that help is on the way. So that I feel like that means that God, Creator, Source, Most High, the universe, your angels, your your guides, your ancestors are working in the spirit realm, aligning all the assistance and help that you need in whatever way that is, rather it's resources, individuals um, that need to come together, an open path for you, whatever it is that is required for you to have a successful outcome and to um, be proud of yourself for standing strong is being worked out for you. So you have support, you have help that is orchestrating this um, outcome for you. Just be patient during the process. Do what you're able to do um, by staying positive, following the divine guidance you receive in order to maintain your focus. Maintain your focus, maintain your peace, maintain your health, and maintain your um, attention on what is the best possible solution for all who are involved. I feel like you're being encouraged not to get distracted by what's happening. Don't become distracted. Stay focused. Trust the process. Stay in peace, knowing that everything is working out for your well-being and those who are involved. And you may need to tell yourself that from time to time. Everything is working out for my greatest and highest good. Everything is working out for my well-being. I am divinely supported. I am divinely guided, etc., etc. I am safe. I am protected. All is well, etc., etc so that you can continue to be focused and to con and continue to be encouraged and know that all is well. So embrace the support that is around you. Know that you are loved from the spiritual realm and here in the earth realm. Embrace the love of others, love upon yourself, of course, number one, and always make sure that you love upon yourself. Don't be hard on yourself, be gentle, be very gentle with yourself. And take your time to make divine choices, divine decisions. I feel like you're being encouraged not to rush not to become anxious. Remember, you have help. And a great light, a great light will heal your heart. So there's healing that's taking place during this process as well. Healing of the current situation that you're dealing with for yourself and others. So be gentle with yourself, be kind to yourself, as well as others. Don't be hard on yourself. Stay focused, follow the divine guidance. Nurture yourself by making sure that you are being gentle and loving towards yourself, as well as others, but also nurture your physical body Drink plenty of water, pray, meditate, sing, dance, especially if you begin to feel low, dance and sing. It's going to raise your vibration. That's why it's important for you to still shine, let your light shine, to keep your energy high. It may seem challenging, but you can do it. You can do it. I've had to do it in difficult times. I've had to stay positive. I've had to tell myself everything is working out for my good. I've had to tell myself I am safe. I am protected. I am divinely guided. I am love. God loves me. I love myself. 
etc., cetera, etc. Cetera. And I still had to maintain my physical health as well. Sometimes we can face difficulties or challenges, and you may not um, have an appetite that affects some people. And some people, it doesn't. Like, I'm going to eat, trust me. Because I know that I have to sustain my body. No matter what I'm going through, I'm going to eat. Based on the mere fact that my body needs to remain healthy. So, nourish your physical body, your spiritual body. And keep in mind that this is a time of deep, profound, and positive transformation. It's, I'm telling you, it's working out for your well-being. Be courageous, be strong, be patient, and embrace the support that's around you. Stay true to yourself, love on yourself, take good care of yourself spiritually and physically. Maintain your peace. So, fire signs, this is your message. I hope it has been helpful. If you're not subscribed, please go ahead and press the subscribe button and join us here because I would love to have you. Also, give this uh, video a thumbs up. A comment in the comment section would be greatly appreciated or an emoji of any kind would greatly be appreciated um, and I just offer you my best thoughts for you during this time where you may find that you're challenged and it feels difficult so I send you um, love, peace during this time. And may you find joy within yourself as you persevere. Take good care of yourself. I will talk to you soon. Bye for now.